The iPhone 10 and 10s are coming up on three and four years old. So today we're gonna review both of them. The iPhone 10 just four years ago was a thousand dollars, but now you can find it on eBay for four fifty to five hundred dollars, which is kind of weird because the 10R is five hundred on Apple.com, and that car that doesn't seem like a better deal, unless of course you think better battery life is a good thing. This is also my sister's phone, so m don't mind the wallpaper. Now let's start where they both hold up semi-decent in the camera department. Both the 10 and the 10s have 12 megapixel telephoto and wide cameras, but the 10s has a few extra software features with, and also they got it got its new iPhone 11 like camera app, so it's kind of a little bit better than the iPhone 10. I think Apple did that just so uh, there's a little bit differentiation because they didn't have too many things different. Which that alone is not a problem. Both of them can film in 4K 60, which is really nice to get some buttery photos, which still the newest phones can do. Except for they do have Dolby Vision and a couple other fun things, but this phone is not bad for 2021 at all. So bigger means better, right? So get the Tennis Max. Not really, because both of them are pretty much the same, besides battery life. It used to mean that for Apple, like the 6S was different but then the 6 with a couple camera feeds, but now they're just the exact same. Just this phone's better than the 10R. Speaking of the 10R, it can't do this, which every other phone in the whole world that is still supported, like the 6S to the 10S because it has 3D touch. But even the 11 and 12s can't use this because uh, for some weird reason Apple decided have to touch on the 10R sucks. Who knows? But here we are. Overall, I think these phones are great four and three years later, which uh, is pretty good for most phones. Like, most Samsungs can't do that. Um, for one thing, I do think that the 10s normal one is kind of the worst to get because you could just get the 10 and you're not losing out on much. And then the 10s is better battery life and bigger phone. Also, this has some extra 4G speed stuff that the 10R has. So, they both these phones are better than the 10R, all three of them. But I also think that the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus are better than that phone. So my opinion apparently doesn't count. Anyway, that's the wraps up for my video for the 10, the 10S, and the 10S Max. Overall, get the 10S Max. If you really want that smaller size, get the 10, because the 10S Max, well, the 10S is not much better than the normal 10. So if you're going for the 10S, go for the 10S Max. It'll be worth your while. That's it. This is all my studio, temporary. It'll probably look pretty much the same next time you video, but it'll be really thin. That's what I'm doing next is I'm going to make a better studio and then film it for a fun video that I'll be doing soon. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Maybe I'll have a subscribe button right there. Peace.